guys, it's Caitlin B. And today I figured it would be super fun to just do a little chatty get ready with me. A little OG because I just miss OG YouTube and it just needed to be done. Like makeup over anything gets me the most excited and trying new products. So I got so many new products to try from Sephora and they're actually partnering with me on this video. So thank you so much to Sephora. I am actually dying. So I'm going to do like a full on tutorial of this look. I wanted to show you the finished look first. So this is what we are working with. Let me zoom you in because I haven't been this obsessed with the makeup look in so long. I was inspired by my friend Kelly who did this glossy wet lid look and it's so good. We also got some bronzy glowy skin and a nude pink glossy lip. I'm obsessed. All of the products that I'm using in this tutorial you can find at Sephora or Sephora.com. So I'm going to link all of them in the description box along with the shades or colors that I'm using because I know that can be helpful as a reference. Also, if you're not a member yet of Sephora's Beauty Insider program, I'm going to link that down in the description box below as well because you basically just get a bunch of freebies, points, perks. What more could you want? I'm going to link that down below. There are three different tiers that you can pick from Rouge members, VIB members, and also insiders. I'm also going to be answering some of your questions that you submitted on my Instagram. So if you want to be a part of a future Q&A video, I will link my Instagram and my TikTok, all my things down below. The only thing I have on my face right now is a moisturizer. And then I also just patted in a face oil right on my under eyes and then kind of around my nose, which is where I get really dry. And I did want to mention, I've actually just started using the Grande Lash MD, which is a lash enhancing serum you can get at Sephora. I've heard so many good things about this. Actually, when I was at a bachelorette party, one of the girls had the most beautiful long lashes and I was like, what are you using? Because I need all the help I can get. My lashes are so short, I just can never get them to grow. So she swore by this, so I immediately had to get it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's just full of vitamins, peptides, and I will apply this right on my lash line at night. I just wanted to throw that out there because I did get this from Sephora and I've really been liking it so far. But now for a base, I'm gonna start with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is such a good primer. I love the feeling of it. It's just like, oh, it's a cloud literally. And it smells so good. What was your song of 2021? Honestly, I'm such a creature of habit. I listen to the same songs over and over and over again. But one of my top songs from last year was You and I, the remix by Leon. Oh my God, she's one of my favorite artists. She's so good. But that song in particular, I for some reason had on repeat all of last year. <laughs> it just goes with every single mood. Like getting ready for a night out, but also in your feels at home. I don't know. It just get you a girl that can do both. I don't always apply two bases. Sometimes I'll just do one or the other of these, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to do both because I love me a glow. And this is one of my favorite products that I have discovered probably within the last year. It's just one of those staple products that I just can't see myself not repurchasing over and over again. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I also have the bigger size. This is in the shade 2.5 Fair. So the 2.5 is more of a golden tone and this one has more pinky tones. How I mostly apply this is as a base. So I will just stripe it on my face like this. Some people just do it where they get highlight, like where the light hits you, but I will just kind of apply it everywhere because I love a good glow. I also love to apply it on my collarbones and on my elbows as well. Or this is not my elbow, Caitlin, are you okay? But that's why I like to do my makeup in like a tank top like this, just because then I can make sure all my makeup blends. But like the name suggests, it is like having a filter in real life. It's so good. It makes your skin look so glowy, which is why it makes such a great base for makeup. And even when you put foundation or tinted moisturizer over it, it's still gonna shine through. But you can also just mix this right in with your liquid foundation. A lot of the times, honestly, I will just apply this over my sunscreen in the morning and then just go. Just, I love this so much. What book has the spicy chapter 16? So this is funny. I've noticed that a couple of the books that I've been reading recently, the chapter 16 is like the chapter, like the chapter that's just, whoa, spice overload. So the first one I read was The Love Hypothesis and that one was fire. But then I read It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey and also chapter 16 in that one even better. Read it. You're welcome. There's also a sequel that just came out and it's also so good. For my foundation, I am a sucker for the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This is so hyped about and for good reason. Once you find that foundation, that's just, it checks all the boxes for your skin type, your skin tone, wear time. It's just, I just keep going back to you. So I just got a fresh bottle of this. This is in the shade 5.1, which I find to be perfect for my skin tone when I'm not tanning. I do have a little bit of self tanner on right now. I also have the shade five. This is 5.1 that I'm using. And then I also have 5.2 which is when I'm a little bit tanner. So I usually just apply three pumps on the back of my hand and then I'll either apply it directly to my face with a beauty blender sponge 
or I'll just dot it like this. I find when I dot it, product goes a lot further. I also like to apply some on my lids and then I'll drag some down my neck as well. And then I'm just gonna blend that in with my Sephora face brush. Another question, can you do a no makeup makeup look sometime? I would love to if that's something you guys want because I feel like that's, a look that I often wear. You can see the Hollywood Flawless filter still shining through. This foundation still does have a nice like glow and sheen to it, which is why I love it because my skin tends to be on the drier side. But I do feel like this foundation works for any skin type because it's nothing too heavy. It's really lightweight. And I would say this is definitely like a good medium coverage foundation. I really wanted to try a new concealer for this video because I feel like I constantly just use like the same makeup products. So for this video, I was like, I just want to try like get a bunch of new makeup, try some new brands that I've been meaning to try and just branch out so normally I always wear the NARS this is the radiant creamy concealer I have like so many different shades of this because I love it so much it's so good so I'll also link this one down below because this is like a good everyday staple for me but the only like qualm I have with this one is that I feel like I go through it so fast so I just wanted to try something else so I decided to pick up the Pat McGrath concealer this is in the shade L5 packaging is so beautiful it's like heavy I love this like getting new makeup is so exciting to me this question is so funny if you were to eat meat what would your cheat meal be um, thank you for that question, Gina. Love that. I obviously don't see myself ever eating meat again, but if I were, hypothetically, I'd probably honestly go for, oh, this is hard. Cause like my staple growing up was a McDonald's Happy Meal, like cheeseburger plain, the go-to. But honestly, you know what I can't stop thinking about? Raising canes. Wow, I just got concealer, like, am I okay? Please comment below if you have had raising canes, what your thoughts are, because this was like my go-to in college. I went to school in Nebraska. We didn't have it, I don't think, in Minnesota. So I'd probably do like the classic chicken fingers, the Texas toast with the sauce. Oh my God, the sauce, it's incredible. I would definitely do that because the chicken fingers are just 10 out of 10. I'm just gonna blend this with a beauty blender. Honestly, that concealer looks so good. This combo can honestly blend so nicely. Also, if this side of my face looks more shadowed, it's because there's a window right here and not one right here. <laughs> Trying new cream bronzers is probably like my favorite makeup product to try out. I don't know why. There's something about a good contour. So I had to try this one. I've heard so many good things about this one recently. It's by the brand Say. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This is their Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. I got this one in the shade Medium Bronze and I'm gonna apply this actually with my Bobbi Brown brush. So I'm going to just pat this where I would do my contour and bronzer. Ooh, that's like really pretty. Okay, I'm loving how buildable this is because I feel like a lot of bronzers I will go in and it's just an, an immediate streak, so opaque, and then it takes me forever to blend it out to something that doesn't make me look insane. This one seems like really natural and easy to build. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm loving this. It has like that, what do you call it? Like a waxy, finish almost which i know that sounds weird but it has kind of that sheen to it which i actually really like i just prefer to build something up rather than taking it away it's just a lot less daunting of a process okay i got a lot of ring questions if i can share details on the engagement ring i'm going to answer most of your questions in the proposal video so if that's up i will link it below and also in the cards but otherwise it's going to be up very soon i do know that she is a stunner so obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. I'm also gonna bring this down my neck a little bit and kind of like below my collarbone. Yeah, this is gonna be a staple for me, especially during the summer, like when I'm only wearing cream products. Before I set this all with a powder, because <laughs> I'm looking a little, a little glowy right now, um, I'm gonna use the Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom. This is in the shade Cherry Blossom Babe. I just, I'm obsessed with this color. It's so freaking stunning. I always apply this one on the back of my hand because it's like one swipe. It is so freaking pigmented. I'm actually gonna use the same Bobbi Brown brush and then I'm just gonna apply it like right, right here. Because I learned from TikTok, that's where you're supposed to apply your blush, not on the apples of your cheeks, if you want a lifted look, which we love to look lifted. Go-to author when you're in a reading slump. Ooh, this is a good question. Obviously, Colleen Hoover, I would always grab her books if I was reading something that I was like, oh, this is just not it. And then I would cleanse my palette with a Coho book. But um, sadly for me, I've read all of her books. So I, oh, I forgot to, con oh my God. I forgot to contour the rest of my face. I just completely skipped over contouring my nose and my lips. Let me just do that real quick. Yeah, I would definitely read Coho books if you haven't yet. I don't know what it is, but her books are just so easy to binge. Even people who are like, I haven't read in years and like, I don't like reading. They read Colleen Hoover and they're like, okay, actually, 
I wrote that within a day. But besides her, I've recently been loving Renee Carlino. I don't know if she's come out with a book, like a new book in a while, but I just love her writing and I just find it's really similar to Colleen Hoover and the fact that I can just binge it really fast and she manages to keep me hooked like the entire time. Love Before We Were Strangers, Swear on This Life are my favorites. And also I think Wish You Were Here was another one that I really like. I know I look insane, but I'm gonna blend that out now with my beauty blender again. Okay, now is when I set all of this because I have so many cream and liquid products on my face right now. And if I didn't set this, it would be moving all over the place. I am obsessed with this setting powder. It's so freaking good. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Powder. basically you just shake it and it comes out in this little powder I will go in with my also my hourglass brush but I'm gonna take the smaller end of the brush dip it into the powder which a little bit of this goes a very long way I like to take the lid and just kind of rub it like that get some more off and then it just like evenly disperses the product and then we set another question I got asked a couple times I'm late to the party who is Jennifer okay so I don't feel like I'll talk about Jennifer as much on my YouTube channel, but on my Instagram, I'm always talking and referring to Jennifer on my stories and in my captions, but, but Jennifer, I don't know when she was born, like 2018, 2019. She is my suburban mom alter ego. She's on the PTA. I'm not sure if she's president, but she wants to be. She basically emulates and idolizes Gwyneth Paltrow and Goop. Big fan of Pilates. I'm pretty sure she was born from a story when I was wearing like a robe and a face mask. And I was like, wow, I look like such a mom right now, but like a hip cool mom. I just felt like she needed a name and you know, Jennifer was, she was just born. So it's so funny. Anytime I post a photo that I'm looking like extra mom or just doing something, people are like, oh, Jennifer's out to play today or like love this Jennifer, which I think is so funny. You guys can tell us apart. This product has like changed the game for me. I just got my second tube of this tub. This is more of a tub than a tube, but this is the brow freeze. Okay. I just swatched a little bit of it so you can see, <laughs> but it's this clear styling wax and I apply it with a spoolie brush on my brows and then I fill them in. I feel like it makes all the difference. It makes my brows look so much fluffier. It holds all day. They look so snatched. I will just scoop a little bit with a spoolie brush on the back of my hand, rub that in. And then I will just go in really gently like with a really light hand and just start brushing up and like kind of pushing into my skin at the same time and i feel like a little bit of this goes a long way so start with a small amount it just looks so good and even just that like you don't even need to fill it in if you have more coarse brows then you don't even have to really go in with a pencil after i also like this product because you still have some time to like work it in a little bit. Once I get like the desired look, I will just leave it alone for a little bit and then I will fill it in later. Before I start the eyes real quick, just wanna add a little bit of bronzer. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette, which is very well loved. As you can see, I've been using this for so long, uh, but I just take the same hourglass brush on the fluffier, like the big side. And then just with a small fluffy brush, I'm gonna take that same contour, apply it on my nose. My go-to coffee order. Oh, also I'm applying this around my mouth just to kind of give it some plump. Also, lastly, gonna take the same bronzer and start applying this on my eyes. My go-to coffee order is black coffee. I know I'm so boring, but I'm also basic. Don't worry, I also love an iced oat milk latte. No sweeteners, no syrups or anything, just a plain oat milk latte. And I prefer a quad shot than that. I need to show you these eyeshadow palettes because I'm so dead. I haven't gotten new eyeshadow palettes in so long. I feel like I've just been using the same stuff over and over. Your girl got an upgrade. So I'm gonna go for that glossy lid today. So the first palette I'm gonna be using is the Pat McGrath Mothership. This, oh my God, this is the most amazing, luxurious eyeshadow palette I've ever owned or even like held in my hand. <laughs> This is insane, you guys. Like the quality. Oh my God. It's like a work of art. This engraved gold. Are you kidding me? You guys, I am so unwell over this palette. This color in particular is what I'm going to be using. And I just feel like it's not doing it justice on camera. Like this color. Oh my God. It looks wet. Let me just swatch this for you because I genuinely, I'm not well. I am not well. Loved how different these colors were and you still get a couple warm tones, but this color in particular, I just could not pass this one up. But I'm definitely gonna be playing around with this palette a lot. So I feel like this palette would be so pretty for like a night outlook. The other palette I'm gonna be using is this Patrick Ta. The colors in this are also so insane. Look at this palette. Are you kidding me, you guys? Please tell me it's not just me who gets so excited over makeup. <laughs> geeking out at these shades. There's these two cream contour shades. I'm mostly gonna be using this shade right here and then maybe the one next to it. 
And then I'm also going to be using this shade as kind of an eyeliner. We're just going to be taking this shade from the Patrick Ta palette. Just with any fluffy brush and applying that all over kind of like the outer half of my eye. This question's kind of tea. Do you actually like Sarah's style? Question, question. No shade, just very different from yours. Someone's trying to start some tea. Um, I'm also just kind of bringing this sh same shade in just so that it covers like at least like the outer half of my eye. Yeah, I love Sarah's style and it's really cool to see how it's evolved from like when I first knew her. And I think she's like, she and I have never had the same style, um, especially back then when she was super preppy. Uh, yeah, I had like elements of preppiness, but definitely not on the same level that she was, but I've never not liked her style. Like it, it just fit her so well for that time in her life. And it still is to this day. And it's just cool to see her experiment with style and like get more confident in trying different things. We always say we have like a Venn diagram when it comes to style and just like things that we like, because we actually do have like a good amount of overlap and things that we like in our styles and like the same pieces. Next, I'm gonna go in with my iconic London Eye Duo. This is in the shade Champagne. And I think these are so cool because one side is like a little doe foot, kind of a liquid eyeshadow, which you can apply over the crayon or you can apply just the crayon as well. So this is what the crayon looks like. So beautiful. Just like add such a nice base to what I'm doing. I like to have something a little bit tacky to apply that glitter eyeshadow on first, which you could honestly do the liquid too, but I feel like the crayon is just like a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to go with that. I also hate saying the word crayon. It just sounds so bizarre to me. Crayon. So I'm going to apply this directly on the inner half of my lid. And this is honestly just acting as like a base. So you don't have to make anything perfect by any means and then i'm just going to blend that in with my finger my favorite part of this tutorial we're gonna get with the glitter eye okay so i'm gonna use this shade that i swatched earlier another moment of silence for this i'm gonna apply this directly over top of that eye crayon that i just applied oh do you see that oh my god Holy crap, this is so, it's amazing. I'm gonna go in with the smaller brush just to make that more precise, but I'm just gonna pat this down first. Oh my God, it is so good. Oh my God, I am totally doing this for festival season. I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush just to start blending that out. Going in with that same shade again, just with a smaller brush, I'm gonna start applying this underneath my lower lash line, which I always do with eyeshadow because it just makes it look so much more complete. I just feel like it looks so much better when you do that. And then I'm gonna take the shade next to it, which is just a slightly darker brown, just focusing it more on the outer lid. Boom, boom. Then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush like this. I'm gonna go in with this really rich dark chocolate brown color. I think it's so freaking pretty. And just start to create an eyeliner. I'm just gonna start applying it like I would actual eyeliner. And I kind of want that smudgier, less precise look. And I'm actually gonna smudge this out even further. Build that up and then of course I love me a wing. Do you have another job in mind that you want to explore or experience? I feel like with this job, it can lead to so many different things. Could be a stepping stone to so many different things that you want to get into. It's hard to say because this is all I've ever known. This is all I've ever experienced job-wise. I've been doing this since I was 16, which is so incredibly crazy to think about because then I just like couldn't even fathom what my life would look like in 10 years. Everything just changes so fast with social media. So you just like truly never know what the next thing is. Side note, I'm just gonna take a fluffier brush with that lighter brown color and then just start to blend that in. But yeah, I would definitely love to explore other things and just kind of expanding what I have. I would obviously love to have my own brand and business someday. I don't know what facet or niche that would be in. I have a couple different ideas, so I don't really wanna like specifically say yet because I like so many different things and it's hard to narrow it down but I would also like randomly been thinking a lot about lately potentially writing a book one day I think would be really fun 
and I have so many ideas for that already. I've just kind of started taking down notes of things of like storylines and tropes, things that I like in books, things that I don't like. It's exciting to think about though. Obviously this eyeshadow already looks glossy, but the key to making it look like an actual wet lid is to apply kind of a gloss. And the one that Kelly used, which I thought was so genius, is the Patrick Ta lip gloss. This is in the shade She's Expensive. I'm obsessed with the shade She's an Influencer, which is like a pink color version of this one for my lips. This one's a beautiful champagne color and it goes so perfect with this lid color so all you do is apply a little bit of this gloss to just that inner corner so again just kind of focusing it on that top half when the light hits oh it looks so Woo, baby look at that lid oh my god i'm obsessed i am obsessed okay so very carefully curling my lashes for my mascara i'm going to be using charlotte tilbury's push-up lashes which we love and mascara for me takes forever so let's answer another question <laughs> I know it's early, but what is the vibe for your wedding? No, it is very early. And I also like think it's so funny. Alex and I were already starting to get questions about when the wedding was. Not even 24 hours after we got engaged. I was like, is this what it's like? But vibe wise, we're actually waiting to figure that out. And like aesthetic wise, the vibe until we figure out the venue. That's kind of our first order of biz. Everyone keeps asking like when the wedding is, when the wedding is. I would rather have like the most amazing dream venue. Like if there's a venue that I'm so set on when I tour, cause I want to tour like a bunch of different places, would rather have that. And then they tell me like, oh, it's actually booked up except for this date. Like I feel like also the vibe of the wedding is gonna kind of go with the venue and just where it is, you know what I mean? I think just it really depends on the aesthetic of the venue and the climate and just kind of playing off of that. I'm just gonna apply some false lashes, let this mascara dry for a second, and then we're gonna come back, finish the lip, add some highlighter then we'll be good to go my eyelashes are setting oh you know what i forgot to do is apply a bottom lash mascara i finally got this i used to use this like all the time og product and then for some reason i stopped buying it i don't remember why but it's so good i forgot how good it was it's that little baby bottom lash mascara it's just so freaking cute and then that way you don't get it like all over your face or maybe that's just me and i just can't get it together i'm also just gonna apply this as a highlighter almost done pulling this look together i feel like whenever i don't have my lips done it looks so insane and i'm like what is going on here and then i throw all my lips and i'm like oh yeah we're good <laughs> i just picked up a new shade of my favorite liner so this is by makeup forever i love the shade wherever walnut but i've also heard great things about the shade anywhere caffeine so i also had to pick that one up and they're both fire i honestly don't know which one i like more they're so good they're both just like a great everyday shade i feel like anywhere caffeine is just a little bit darker So I kind of like to fill in my cupid's bow lightly. And then kind of fill in the outer corners to make them look a little bit more plump. And I like to blend that with my finger. For my lipsticks, I have two that I just picked up. So this one is a new one of my favorite ever. It's so good. And this is the YSL 10. And it's just the most perfect everyday shade for me. It actually looks darker in the tube than it does on my lips, which is interesting. I'm going to apply both just to show you because they're both just fire and then i also got the lawless which is my first lawless beauty product ever which is crazy and this is in the shade wedding day i thought this one was so beautiful they're both pretty similar the lawless one is going to be more matte and then the ysl one is more kind of like a sheen it's kind of got a glossy look to it so i'm just going to first apply wedding day this one's not too dry and then with a the gloss over top it'd be perfect and then going in with the ysl this one just, you can see, glides a lot more because it's a little bit more juicy. Also, all of YSL lip products smell so good. Just go to Sephora, smell them. <laughs> Always have to top it off with a gloss. You could obviously use the Patrick Ta. Either she's expensive, she's an influencer. Both are great. I'm right now just kind of leaning towards using this one just on my lids. So instead for my lips, I'm going to use my tried and true, my go-to. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade 001. Oh my god, it's just the most juicy, amazing gloss. And it just has this really pretty pale pink color. Finish off my brows with the Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 3.5. And I honestly just kind of go in. I need a mirror. I need a mirror! I will just go in, honestly, really light strokes. Just kind of mimicking 
my brow hairs as it is and then i'll just fill in wherever it looks a little bit sparse looks so good i feel like the shade also is like the exact color of my brow hair okay now i can put in my jewelry so i'm not clanking my brushes against them every two seconds <laughs> i'm gonna set this this is the iconic london prep set glow i have a couple different shades this one's obviously the bronzy one that is the finished look you guys the most beautiful glossy wet lid bronzy glowy face i just this is gonna be my go-to look i'm telling you also i'm kind of really into this whole like eyeshadow is eyeliner vibe i never thought i would be into that but i'm digging this look yay i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and just like hanging out with me today having a little chit chat get ready with me but i hope you recreate this look because honestly i tried so many great products like i don't even know if i could pick a favorite but honestly okay the standout of this tutorial is obviously these palettes like we cannot disregard these palettes i can't get over this glossy lid like where has this been all my life? But I'm gonna link all the products that I use in this tutorial down in the description box below, which you can again all get at Sephora or Sephora.com. And if you haven't signed up for Sephora's Beauty Insider program yet, I will also link that down below because I highly recommend signing up for that because anytime you buy makeup, you get perks, we get points, freebies, all of the goods. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next one. Mwah!